seconds to go. Well, Blake needs to be careful also, because Belcher, he still can hurt you. Greg, you sure you didn't write the script for this fight? <laughs> Final seconds of the eighth round. Let these guys speak for themselves. Let's go back into round number eight. Now let's see, this is where Blake went down, was not called a knockdown. That's a right hand, that's a knockdown in my book. Davy Pearl seemed more concerned about Balazar putting his hand on Blake's head than he did in whether it was a knockdown or not. Now watch Blake come back. Well see, both of them has to be very careful because they, they both had that good punching power. Here's the Blake knockdown. You'll see the punch by Balazar was a, uh, by Blake, was a right hook. It didn't look like it had a lot on it. Balazar saying to his corner, I'm all right. I wonder how much fatigue was a factor there. I think fatigue was the, was the big factor, Tim. He didn't get hit that hard, but he had put out so much effort earlier that he just didn't have any legs under him. Now it's a question of whether the legs will carry him again. Right now, Robin's, Robin Blake's right eye is virtually closed. Everybody was worrying about Balthazar, and I, Balthazar's eye. Now it's Blake's eye. Round number nine. Two rounds to go if it goes the distance. Good combination by Blake. And he rocks Belazar into the ropes. And you saw what happened. Belazar moves straight back. Pounding away Belazar. In difficulty goes down. Belazar looking to the corner. Tony Belazar tells Davey Pearl I'm all right. We'll find out if he is. He's got to land a big punch again, Tim. Otherwise, it's over. A weary Tony Balazar. His eyes look a little cloudy here, but he comes forward. What a fight. Swelling around the right eye of Robin Blake. But they did a good job in the corner, Tim. He came back to the corner with his eye closed. Balazar. Balazar. Right and a left combination by Blake. Tim Balthazar is dead tired. That's the difference in the fight right now. The towel was thrown in, and then Dave Pearl stopped the fight. The towel was thrown in. That cannot officially stop a fight, but Davey Pearl went along with it. Denise Blake cheering her husband, who has scored a ninth-round KO of Tony Balazar in one of the most exciting lightweight bouts in the last couple of years. Robin Blake and Tony oh, no. Balazar, two brave warriors at 137 pounds. What a display by unbeaten Robin Blake. And a brave, gutty display by Tony Balazar, who bounced back from earlier damage to cut eye to have Blake in trouble just a round ago. That's his father in the ring, Robin Blake. Now let's go back into that ninth round as the crowd here applauding the efforts of both these young men. On the ropes, he got Balazar into trouble. Well, that was a mistake that Balazar made against the ropes because the fight with the hand speed of Robin Blake can prove to be very costly. And fatigue had, was a factor also. Yes, too. it was. It looked like he just sagged out of fatigue as though he was trying to load up for that one countering punch that he never got off. Now Blake this time lands cleaner blows in the middle of the ring. Right there, a left and a right, sending Balazar down again. And this time, the towel was thrown in by the Balazar corner. Davy Pearl, I'm not sure, was going to call it a knockout at that point. But then he agreed with the Balazar corner. We'll be back here in Las Vegas momentarily. Let's take you now to Jim Kelly in New York. All right, Tim Ryan, we'll be going back live to Las Vegas for more on that very exciting battle coming up. Let's go back now live ringside to Las Vegas. Tim Ryan summed it up best of all when he said, what a fight. Timmy? All right, Jim. Yes, we're here with both the combatants in this fight. It was everything that we hoped it would be and expected it would be. Tony Balazar, let's talk to you first. They're working on both these guys. Tony, uh, you were in trouble with the cut early in the fight, and yet you had Robin in trouble later in the fight. It also looked like you were getting pretty tired from all well, the punishment. I wasn't getting tired. I was just couldn't see. Black hair coming in the eye, and he's a southpaw. And he kept hitting me with that right hand. I couldn't see it coming. What do you think of Robin Blake? Oh, he's a tough fighter. He's hard, real hard. All right, Robin. Uh, 
Obviously, you expected a tough fight from this young man, and you got it. It's the toughest fight you've had as a pro. Yes, uh, Tim, it is. Tony, he, when they named him Tony the Tiger, I, that's a good name for him. He comes at you, and he makes you fight. And But uh, I knew I had to fight, and, and, you know, I caught a lucky punch. He hit me in the ear in the seventh round, and then he was able to hurt me in the seventh round. And, and I'm just thankful to my Lord and personal Savior that I pulled it out. Well, all right, let's go back and take a look at that action in the uh, in the ninth round because both of you here landed big punches. In fact, the one uh, knockdown that uh, appeared to be a knockdown, I thought it was, the Davy Pearl indicated that it was not a knockdown. Tony, what did you think? I thought you landed a punch. Oh, I did. I hit him with a good shot, and he went down. That's why I tapped him inside the head. But there's those quick hands by Robin. He gets a lot of punches in. How do you compare him to Davis? Uh, he's not as quick as Davis, but he hits a lot harder than Davis. Davis can't hit. On that knockdown there, it looked like you were trying to load up for a counter punch, and just the accumulation of those punches sent you down. Yeah, that's 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 what happened. Now, Robin, uh, at that point, it had to give you a big feeling that you knew you had him. Yes, sir, I had him. I knew I was on the take, so I was going to put pressure on him and try to take him out because, you know, he was tough. Give me a tough, hard fight, and I knew if I just kept pressure on him, he'd go down, and I was there throwing the towel like he did. Tony, you've only lost two fights in your pro career. You're still a young guy. I know you want back. I'll be right back. Back, right back in the gym. As long as the side gets well, I'll be back fighting again. Robin Blake, I know that uh, you felt that you were willing to take on a guy as dangerous as, as Balazar to prove you deserve to be number three in the world. And we understand that you now want the number two man, Bramble. Yes, sir. I want Bramble. I want Bramble because uh, I'm on Ray Mancini. And to get to Ray Mancini, I'll have to go to Bramble, you know, number one contender. And so, I mean, number two contender. So I'm going after the, the top people from now on. Quick word from your wife, Denise, who's smiling now, but we, we caught her uh, during the course of the round when Tony had you in some difficulty. There were no smiles, Denise. I was scared. <laughs> oh, you smile on it, Denise. Yeah. <laughs> you are two exciting and very, very able young lightweights. We congratulate you both for a great fight. I have to say hello to everybody in Levelland, Texas, because I know they're glued to that.